All right, my name is Lawrence Ray, also known as LRW3, and this is the Rose Guard. And y'all should already know who I have with me, but just in case they don't, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, y'all, it's Lex to show, you know, um, the hardest female rapper coming out of any city, so. <laughs> well, you make sure you let everybody know that every yeah, time. Yeah, every time, every time. Every time, every just time. in case they forgot. Yeah, just so, in case. So before we get into uh, your music course, everybody should know at this point, uh, they've seen you a few times, very talented artists. Before we get into that, just let people know about Lex the person. Lex the person, she's honestly a shy person. She's funny, um, very smart, you know, love God, put God's first put God first. Um Amen. Yeah, that's like that's it, like you know, hey, stuff like that. Um I love reading, painting, stuff like that, so that's really who I am as a person. I would have never assumed you to be shy off of your music. I really am though, that's the crazy part. No one assumes that, but I'm really shy and <laughs> That's crazy. It's weird. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. So let's talk about, uh, let's get into this music. I said, very talented artist. How long have you been making music? Um, like, as far as going to the studios, going on my third year. But I used to be in a music group when I was, like, young. Um, I started a music group at 13. But as far as, like, putting out music, going to the studio for three years now. What was the name of that group? Fire Girls, and then it got changed to Exclusive. <laughs> Y'all got some songs out? Y'all had some songs? No, I just remember like a part of the rap, but we don't have no songs, but like, yeah, we, I just remember one of the songs was like, fine, that's right, come on, you know it, oh, <laughs> stuff man, like I that. We was in that. middle school, so we didn't record anything. Everything we did was like live shows and stuff, so we didn't. All right, all right, I mean that. So, uh, talk to me about your first song. What was the name of that first song? My first song was TMS, and um, it's crazy. When I first went in there to record, I didn't know you can chop up. I went in there and did the whole thing. The producer was like, is that what you're going to do? And I was like, let me hear it. It sounded a mess. So my I first song. Record, like, I don't like to punch in, though. That's just me. I see, I, I like to because sometimes I like to change it up, like my um, speed and stuff. So I really do. And then I'm very like... I listen to everything I'm saying. Like, I don't like the way that sounds. Let me redo that instead of redoing a whole thing. I punch in. Sense. So, but so a lot of people don't. If you can, if you don't have to, yeah, hey. But my, you know, yeah, but TMS. What is uh? What's that stand? I know it has stand for something. Talk my shit. So that was my first song. Talk my shit. So yeah, that came out in 2019. And yeah, so is it is it out and you want somebody to hear that? Yeah, it's on Apple Music, it's on YouTube. I have a music video to it on YouTube, it's on Apple Music, Spotify, all the mainstream. So most people like most people don't actually like their first song. Did you like your first song oh, still? I love my first song. To I this still day. Was to this day. Oh, to this day. That's my Y'all stop this real quick and go listen to Tina <laughs> real quick and come back, man. Let her know she right or wrong on that. Yeah, I love that. So talk to us about your journey, man. Um the journey that got you into music. How'd you end up in music? I ended up in music um, from, I used to always watch on G Girls when I was young, when I was like 13, in Baby Doll, I used to just always wanted to rap. And I was like, okay, I'm I'm, I'm going to rap. Like, I love that, I'm just going to rap. So then I was like, in the music group, I was like, okay, I like to rap. But then, you know, as you get older and stuff, everybody don't want to do it. So I was like, I'm just put my foot into it. I know I can do it. And then start putting out music. So, so that's really how it happened. I know you said you were in a group at first. Was it, did you all have, did you all break up and then you do you did your own solo thing or was it like no was I took a break to? so um we broke up we just stopped doing it we stopped oh. practicing and everything so this was like in middle school and then I didn't get serious about it again until my junior year of college so it was like a big yeah that's a big old gap. yeah a big gap I used to like keep writing but I wasn't serious like nobody knew like no one knew that I rap so it was just like when I did my first freestyle um, 2018 in December that's when everybody realized that I rap so so what made you get serious again I knew I could do it I was like I'm because I used to freestyle with the guys and stuff in college and it was nothing 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 good like real lyrical it was just like some fun stuff and I was like if I sit down I could really like go somewhere with well, this I like get in my bag on that yeah I was like I can really do it and people used to hype me like you should do it, you should do it so I was like okay I'm gonna do it and so then I'm and here I am. Here you are, man. Yeah. Uh, one of the fastest rising musicians there is. So, this one song, last time I say you had this one song you were trying to push. Is that still your single or is there another song out at this point? Um, well, I'm not going to lie. All the music that's out right now, I'm not really so much pushing it because I'm in the process of changing who I am as a rapper. So, mm -hmm. um, it's out there. Like, I'm not going to take it down or anything, but those aren't the songs that I'm pushing. I have a song that's coming out soon and that's going to be the song, but I'm just... I'm rebranding myself right now, so I'm getting ready for that, but 
I can't really say I'm pushing in those singles right now. I know you know what you're doing, of course, but what made you rebrand? Because everybody was loving your style. Because I, I was like, honestly, I just felt like God asking me, like, what are you doing that's going to, like, bring people to me, though? Like, what are you mm. doing that's going to, like, bring me glory? And I was like, you're right, because, I mean, I could talk about all this pretty stuff, but get real. Like, I felt like I wasn't getting real enough. You know what I'm saying? So, so hold on. We don't went from... The boss, Lex Michelle. Oh, she's like, still the boss. I mean, you're still the boss, but now <laughs> are we like moving more gospel rap? No, we're not moving on? gospel. It's, it's motivational, but just let y'all know who God is at the same time. It's kind of like if we're changing the industry kind of thing, like talking, talking my talk, but letting you know at the same time, I wouldn't be nowhere if it wasn't for God. Okay. So just putting more of that into it instead of, you know, all the other materialistic stuff. It's just like. I'm motivated now. I want to tell my story. I want to talk about where I've been and where I'm going now, and just talk about how God changed me. But all that music still—that's still who I was, and that's still some parts of me. So it's just that was a very. I was not expecting that. that was a very good answer. Oh, thanks. That sounds like somebody been media training. I don't know what's going on right oh, now. Oh man, <laughs> praying. So, so that I guess that leads to my another question. Because last time I see you, there was supposed to be a project coming. Is that project not coming, or what happened? Mm, not right now. See, everything that I was doing, mm -hmm. I, so many things, I was just like focused on like putting out a message. Focus on putting out a message. So now I'm just have a single coming out, and then when every, I feel like when everybody hears the single, they don't understand exactly where I'm going and like what's been brought into my life. So. That's my main focus is the next single coming out. But it's not really a project right now. Once I get once I get it all together, then we'll have a project. But right now it's just this single. This single I'm about to drop. I like that. Are you still going by the same? Because most times when people rebrand, they change their name too. Oh, no, sure. because I'm still, I'm okay. still, because I'm just showing, like, how I've been, like, just, like, polished. Like, how God, like, dust me off a little bit. I, I was but I'm still expect. that person. I'm still big lace up next, you know. I was not expecting. The biggest, but it's just. I, you were walking in, I was thinking your sign. You know, we done went through a whole rebrand since then. But no, that's all, that stuff still stands, though. It still stands. I'm not saying that. I'm just, you know, it's just more going to yeah. be. Everything's going to be lyric, more lyrical. Like Everything's going to be more the message. And it's going to be more than what you're hearing right now. That's, so. that's my type of music. So I yeah. like that. I like that. Definitely good answer. So um, as far as projects you got, what are the projects that you have out already? Um, uh, my projects I have right now is um, two, one in 2020 of Taking My Crown. And that was like my first ever putting out something in the studio. That was my first one. And then of June 2021, I put out um, A Point to Prove. And that one was like kind of stamping, stamping who Big Lex is. So, that makes sense. Are those, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming those are all streaming sites? Absolutely. They're everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere that you stream, it's on there. Now I'm asking you this. If somebody had time, and this is all prior to the music that's coming out, that's going to be a whole different mm -hmm. way. But if somebody wanted to see this and they wanted to hear a song from you, what are three songs that you would recommend them listen to out of those projects? Okay. First assignment. Pressure, and then last one, big on them, just cause like you yeah. gonna get your you gonna get your message, then you gonna get your ratchet. So now, would you consider yourself more a singles artist or more defaults on the whole project in itself? I really more singles. Like I, you know, I can focus on a project, but I like putting out exactly what I feel and then put it out, put it out, put it out. But I do think as I elevate, um, putting a project together is gonna mean way more. So. And I like that. I like, and I like the fact that you change. Like you said you're going with more lyrics and you're going more deaf, which you know that's the type of music I like anyway. Yeah, so well, I listen to you. Yeah, that's like... my thing. So that's my thing. I like that. So let me ask you this though, um, and this necessarily isn't a question for you, but I guess it does apply to you. It's more general, but I mean technically it does apply. Mm -hmm. You being a female, of course, in mm -hmm. a male-dominated industry. Um, do you feel like sometimes it's harder to get the same recognition others get? Even though, to be honest, you probably. If I had a top 10, you'd probably be in my top 10 over a bunch of guys. So, do you feel like, but a lot of, I noticed like, especially in the industry, a lot of people aren't acknowledging. It's like, they gotta say, oh, she good for a female rapper. I honestly think right now, this day and age is like a little bit easier for females. I think as long as you have the look, you have the voice, and you can talk what people want to hear. I honestly think that it's easier right now. I don't think a, a woman can get overlooked. Only way you're going to get overlooked is someone overworks you. But right now, me personally, I don't think it's hard to Let me to Let me ask this question because this is something that I didn't know when I wrote this question. But now it, it honestly does kind of directly apply mm -hmm. to you. 
because most female rappers, I, I mean, unless we're talking underground, but mm -hmm. like most of the mainstream female rappers, we be honest, they got one, they got one topic. Yeah, it's sex. Yeah. So, how do you feel like you coming from? Yeah, it's easy to hop on if that's what you're gonna talk about. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel like now you're gonna come with the lyrics? Is that gonna slow you down? Because I mean. People aren't, let's be real, people aren't really checking for that right now from female artists. I honestly don't think it's going to slow me down at all because I feel like this is like, everything I'm going to get is from God. So mm. I feel like he's going to bring everything that I need. He's going to give me the listeners. He's going to give everything. So like, there's nothing that's going to slow me down because I feel like now I stepped into my purpose. Yeah. So it's like, nothing's going to, nothing's going to stop that. They don't want to hear sex, but it's going to be a lot to do. Yeah. I mean, they don't. So. Yeah. That's a fact. Like I said, that's that's my I like the bar. So yeah, that's. Do you feel like there's a stigma for female rappers who have to speak about sex though? You feel like that's why everybody comes with that same topic now? Yeah, I think you kind. Of, well, okay. So it's going to the earlier question you asked about was it harder? I think that is maybe that goes into. I think you have to like somewhat talk about that in order to like gain a listen, like gain followers and stuff like that. So. In order to like really like stamp yourself in the industry, I feel like a lot of girls have to talk about that if they don't know exactly how that, to. That might lead to just generally speaking, like you know, the music industry is all about like fantasy. So like yeah, the guys yeah. they're rapping about the tough stuff, the guns, yeah, the drugs, absolutely. females. That's the fantasy people want from the guys, the tough, the tough look. And then the uh, females. I mean, it's sex. like you want to be yeah, you want to be like almost desired in type of way, so they're gonna they're gonna talk about that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now what? Do you consider to be your style? I mean, my style, like as far as rapping, or just like my style period. I mean, since you're gonna widen the question, your style period. Okay, so my style, um, as far as period, I would say that I'm like a carefree type of person. Like whatever, whatever the wind blows, that's where I'm going. And um, as far as music, I feel like my style is just like it's like it's given boss beat energy like it's just gonna it's just putting out a message of like women you got this like it's it's just like boss beat so that's, that's my it style it definitely does every time like i said you've been on one of my videos everybody and then the showcase everybody kept coming back name the name i mean everybody got their respect but then one of the main names you kept hearing the Lex do a thing, man. Like, man, you know, always I appreciate out, that. Man. I appreciate that. That's always a stand out when you show up. So, mental health always important. Mm -hmm. um, of course, how do you balance um, as far as when it comes to mental health and the aspect of trying to make sure that you're fine, just yourself personally, while still going as hard as you can towards your dream? How do you personally deal with that? I think taking breaks and um, taking time for yourself to pray and then like exclude yourself from what's going on in the world, getting off social media. And just really like centering yourself, that's gonna help you so much. Cause a lot of people go from this like work, don't sleep, work, don't sleep. But I feel like that's not healthy. Like you gotta take time, take a break. If that was your blessing, God's not gonna like miss it. So take your time. So that's that's how I. Good. Yeah, so what's the end goal with this music? Are we are we looking for a contract? Are we trying to stay independent? What's your, what's your goal when it comes to this? Um, it's only one. Honestly, one label that I want to be signed to. I do want to be signed. But it's only the only I'm, label I want I'm gonna to stop you. We're not gonna have you say the Yeah, label. I'm not gonna say it, I but it's only yeah, one yeah. label I wanna be signed to. But until then I wanna be independent. I say you don't ruin your negotiation power. Oh they, no, they I'm they not saying it. it at all, because I I don't wanna to speak too soon, but it's only one label. They don't get the call. Now let me ask you this, I don't want you to say the name of the label, but why is why are you fixated on one label? I like how um the label uh CEO talks about God and I just like how it seems like Everyone has their own free will, mm. so I really like that. I don't know behind. That's just outside looking in. So, but that's just what's perceived to me. It seems like that's like a good fit for me. That makes sense. I like that. Let me ask you this: that I love to ask every single artist. Would you sign a 360? No. Why not? Well, one because it's like it like. Isn't that like stupid? Like you're gonna pay back everything that they're giving you? Well, to be honest, all music contracts are basically just a loan. That's all they are. Yeah, but I mean, well, that ain't true. It, yeah, all. I mean, I guess in a way, it's all three sisters. I don't know. But I ask that because most artists do say no. But like, like I've had a few contracts in front of me, and like mm -hmm. artists who've had contracts, the question is always, well, what's what's the actual details of it? Because like. People hit 360 and automatically assume it's a bad deal. Yeah. But technically, that just means the label gets something 
like whatever you get, they get a percentage. Yeah. But you know, the percentage could be ninety five five, and you keep ninety five percent, and they keep five. Mm -hmm. Technically, by okay. definition, it's still three sixty. Yeah. But would you sign that? Um, ninety five five. Now don't get me wrong. You will never get a ninety five five three sixty. Oh. Most, <laughs> most three sixties are in the range of like fifty to sixty percent the label's way. No. But but I wouldn't do that then because I feel like it's other platforms that you can use. Where you can get a hundred percent of them. Like if that's the case, and them are if I if I'm established and everything at that point, I don't need the label. True. If you're established, that's why I tell artists you gotta be honest to where you are. Because if you're mm -hmm. established, they're not even coming at you with a 360. Exactly. They're coming at you with a joint ventureship. Exactly. But if you ain't got like a major following, I always tell people, even if it was, they keep sixty percent. Forty percent of two million is better than a hundred percent of nothing. Yeah. So, but it's like yeah. As far if I'm not if I'm not established, I don't want to sign. So. Yeah, my advice when it comes to that, I always tell artists, if you were going to do, because everybody's situation different, if you mm -hmm. were going to do it, focus on the number. I like, you do a 360, Absolutely. this is like a rookie contract. Yeah, Absolutely. get two albums, get out of there, and let them build you up, and then when you really start making that money, you free. Absolutely, I like that one, yeah. Yeah, I just like yeah. to see your artists bring But now I never thought about it like that. It really is all like a 360, so I mean, that's true. I mean, as, as so. far as contracts in general, they all like, people like, oh, he got a, he got 500k for his record deal. No, you got 500k advancement, which means the label you not owe them five. You owe them actually 775, not 500. Mm -hmm. You got to pay them back before you ever make another dime. So yeah. that's why artists complain they they hate the contract because they gave you the money, you spent it, now you just stuck. Yeah, they're 500. Yeah. Can't can't sign for them. How much? How much they need? Uh, how much they need for less? At least. At least a million. At least, least a million. At least a million. I'm not signing because I I know what I'm gonna bring to the table. I know how much money I'm gonna bring y'all. At least a million. I, I feel you, man. Least. Don't come. Don't even call the phone unless you got them zeros on there. She just told you now. You know you can call and let me know you're looking. But <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. So, do you have an expect? I know you said the same was coming. Is there an expected date or that release yet or no? Um, I'm speaking my birthday, so March eighth. March eighth. Oh, that's right around the corner. Yeah. My sister's birthday March 8th, too. Look at really? That. Oh. Yeah. Pisces. Right around the corner. So, um, is there any, of course, we just sat here, let's talk about how dope you are. Are there any other dope artists that you're aware of locally that yes. you want to acknowledge? Um, AD Nicole, she's from Florida, but she lives here in Georgia now. She is dope. Um, so many. The Vegan Kitty, um, I follow her on Instagram. She's really good. Uh, and anybody at Million Dollar Basement, anybody at Million Dollar Basement, they're dope. All the producers, everybody there working, dope. So, yeah. Now, let me ask you this Who is an artist um, that you would want to work with? I'm going I'm to break this question down okay. locally and mainstream. Okay. Um, mainstream artists that I want to work with, Mia X. Um, locally, I want to work with. Um, I don't remember the guy, but y'all had him on. Um, the uh when when I came, what was his name? I don't remember, but he was hard. Which one? I know he got he got a lot of followers. He got like some K. I don't remember, but I don't. I, there was the only one that stood out to me. Uh, he had a deep voice. A deep voice. He was like, "We gonna slide some slide." It was like he had a song called Slide. He they perform at the showcase. No, it was um when I came for the podcast. When oh, he was on the um, talk to me nice. Oh man, I hear so many songs. I'm not gonna pretend. I have to go back and watch the episode to see who it is. Hey, hey I would love to work with him. He hey, was hard. Hey, we'll, we'll make that happen. We're gonna work with him. If he yes. was on there, that means we can get in contact with him. Yes, he was. He was really hard. And yeah, so. Oh, and Mel Paul Wall. I had to go Paul Wall. Paul oh, Wall. Yeah. Now, Mia K. What made you want to pick that mainstream artist? Because some people, when I ask them this question. They just say the song that'll give them a hit. I'm not necessarily looking for the song that gets you a hit. I want to know who matches you in your style. I feel like Mia X matched me because she was like that. She got that big mama energy. A woman was staying on her own like that. And then she was a plus size rapper. Of course. I want to do a song with you. Good answer. Good answer. Need to make that happen too. Yes. So that wrapped up my question about your music, but you also are an entrepreneur. Am I correct to that? Yes. Uh, we got Lex Michelle press me. If you want some press on nails, I make the best of coming out of anywhere. So, so how long have you been doing that? This is probably going on about four, three months now. Three months. Okay, so, so it's still fair. How's it started out? Yeah, it started out because I used to like do my own nails. Me and my sister, I used to actually like do acrylic on our nails, but that was just too 
too time consuming and so i was like okay i'm always buying uh press homes at the store so why not just that's my business so so if somebody need to book you for that how would they book you and how far in advance do they need to try to get you you could tell me the day before I, it'll be done the next day um honestly that's just how i work so it's like whenever you need them i'll try to meet it to get it there. but unless you want shipping you know give me three days but um if you go to at Lex Michelle, press me on Instagram and then you just DM me. I'm doing it through DMs right now. So that's how you can book. So with your business, so basically they don't have to be there. You just like design it and then you just, just design. You can tell me what you want or you can look on my Instagram, what what you like, and then you're going to be there. And then I'll just oh, ship okay. it right off. Oh, I never even thought about that. That's dope. That's dope yeah. for real. Yeah, one so, thing is handy is press on nails. That's a fact. So I'm, I'm going to make this a general question. Mm -hmm. In 10 years, you would consider a success if... I would consider it success if I have a family and I am giving back. I would consider that a success. Okay. Some way, somehow, giving back to something, putting it back into the world. I like that. Good answer. Good answer. You are media trained. I don't care what you say. No, I'm really not, though. Okay. Honestly. I just, I, these are just my, like, these are just from the heart. <laughs> right. Good answer. Good answer. So, this is the open floor segment i don't have no more questions for you this is basically anything you need to say that you want to talk about that i didn't ask you any promotion you need to do any shout outs you want to do this is your moment to say whatever you need to say shout out to um my sister's clothing line del mirage um coming out with some really great pieces coming soon um other than that that's pretty much it y'all know y'all heard it here first thank you for having me awesome. of course i love the podcast i love the youtube channel i love everything that y'all got going on so so Big shout out to you. you know, the I want to hear more music. So you are really hard. Like that free that um battle you did. Yeah, that's how that line mean. about talk to uh, talking about some property. Oh it's yeah, like, man, that's, yeah man. We'll get back to that sooner or later. We're back in the lab with that. But of course, um, we sat here and acknowledge how talented you are. Like I said. In my top ten of uh, musicians, and I don't separate female and male. Everybody's Thank together. You. Very you. talented. If you haven't heard her, you need to hear her. Um, like I said, we sat here and acknowledged all the great things you're doing. Every episode of the Rose Garden ends though with you giving somebody else their flowers. Mm -hmm. So I need you to tell somebody. Don't got no person. You just see them working and passing. I just need you to acknowledge them real quick. Tell them you see them um, and give them their flowers to end this out. Oh, like maybe. Yeah, whoever you oh. want, whoever you want to um, acknowledge. I want to acknowledge AD Nicole. She's really working. She's going on her um, second album, and she has like 14 songs on them. So I just she's really working. Um, everybody at Million Dollar Basement is doing what they got to do. I want to go ahead and give y'all y'all flowers. He's been doing that since high school. So let me ask you this: What is Million Dollar? I know mean, you mentioned that twice. It's a studio. Oh, okay. so but um, it's a studio full of like dope producers, and it's like three. It's it's multiple of them, but I think two of them started it, and they just kept going. And um, they have their own studios downtown in Atlanta. And uh, yeah, they just been, it started in a basement. So that's why they call it basement. So then they end up getting a studio, so. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. I didn't mean to cut you off. I, oh, just, no, I meant to ask last time and you brought it back up. Like, yeah, oh, okay. no, you good, you good. It, but yeah. That wrapped up your shot? That wrapped up. So again, thank you. You sure you got nothing else to say? It's your moment. Um, shout out to y'all. That's a shout out. Rose Gold and Talk To Me Nice. All that that you got going on to your channel. Shout out to that. So. Oh, that's love. Yeah, that's yeah. Love. That's pretty much it. Alright, well like always, it's an honor and a pleasure anytime we get around this Lex in the shell. Thank um, you. If she don't have nothing else to say, my name is Lawrence Ray and this was the Rose Garden.